Today we're checking out the new interior for the 2020 Grand Design Imagine XLS 22 RBE. In fact, the new interior for many of the Imagine uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I do travel photography and uh, RV reviews. I downloaded the video from the uh, YouTube site of Crobitz Lakeside Campers and Motors of Lake Crystal, Minnesota. There's their website. There's their phone number. Give them a call. Check out their videos. Yes, I downloaded this video from their website. I added certain other visual elements because why? Why would I download, you know, a rudimentary little video like this? Basically because it's the first video I saw on the internet that showed the latest interior changes for the Imagine XLS. And since I'm about to buy one, I was shocked to find out Yes, they're making some dramatic changes to the interior. I'll show them to you in a little bit. So again, I downloaded the video from Crobitz Lakeside Campers and Motors in Minnesota. They invited me to come down there and check out this uh, uh, travel trailer. Maybe I'll do that eventually. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, originally, I've, saw, I've seen these units uh, here in Texas in Austin, San Antonio, and of course here in Fort Worth. And uh, they all have the old interior, the May, you know, uh, April 2019 interiors. This one has the new June 2019 interior, and it's a dramatic change. Seriously, it's quite dramatic, and apparently a lot of other Imagines are uh, taking on this new design. It's much, much lighter than the older versions. Again, the paneling on the uh, door fronts is flat. It does not have any textures. The refrigerator, instead of having stainless steel fronts, has this wood uh, look material plus a band of white. Again, very different. Instead of dark, they're going light. And here's a shot of the uh, Chinese-made uh, Thomas Paine uh, recliners. Instead of uh, having a darker, you know, you know, vinyl fabric, they have this lighter material. I'll show you a shot uh, from the bathroom from the website that I downloaded from, uh, you know, Imagine. And you can see that the materials they used for the, the seat cushions and such and for the cabinets. Again, what are they? They were darker. So, what color would you call this? Tan? Tawny? Uh, taupe? I don't know. And also notice around the edge of the, uh, you know, the slide out, they have this metallic, uh, you know, trim. This, uh, you know, I find it very unusual. I'm going to have to warm up to that one. <laughs> Again, the refrigerator, instead of having a stainless steel fronts, they have this uh, wood material with that white banding. So I pause the video again, and uh, I'm going to compare this version with, the, notice the, handles and also how the uh, door fronts look and and now well, let's flash back just a couple months ago <laughs> to the darker wood different handles and the stainless steel fronts for the uh, refrigerator amazing so they've been uh, having these darker colors for quite a while now for two three four years that i noticed and uh, it's uh, i guess time for a change you know, like the 57 Chevy had the little fins and stuff. They were they looked totally awesome. Then they changed it to the 58. I didn't like the 58 very much. But the 57 was totally awesome. Well, they were more collectible than the 58s. But here they decided to go lighter. And they still had the same uh, thermofoil, you know, uh, countertops. Very nice. And, and the high-quality TCL TV. I do like TCL TVs, the Chinese-made TVs. I have one in my, uh, in my den. It's a 55-inch. Beautiful, works great. Yeah, there's that little oven. Again, it's, uh, it's very shallow. It doesn't have much room for anything except chicken wings and some cookies and some pizzas. And that's about it. Again, there's that banding. Look at that banding with that little metallic, you know, strips. I don't know. Do you like that? What do you think? Do you think it's a, you know, something that you prefer as compared to the old design? <laughs> Just a month ago's design? Uh, yeah, yeah. My wife who's uh, the arbiter of taste in my house, said she does not like it. We're about ready to pull the trigger and buy one of these over there at McLean's RV Super Center in, uh, in you know, Fort Worth, Texas. And she said, nah, I do not like this design. 
Maybe we can buy the old one at a discount. Of course, McLean's and a lot of RV dealerships, they hold on to RVs like they're precious metals, okay? And they still want to charge you the old prices, the new, you know, the higher prices. So we'll see. We'll have to be doing some negotiations in the next upcoming months, and we'll see if we get one of these. Or something else, maybe a Rockwood, maybe a Flagstaff. Who knows? Nice porcelain toilet. And uh, again, the interiors are oh so much lighter and the panels on the doors are oh so much flatter <laughs> now we're going to pan to the right and show you the uh, bedroom again they haven't changed the bed cover that's uh that's very interesting and again flat you know cabinets in that white sort of little strip there and that metallic sort of uh, you know you know edging there what i i'm lost i'm lost for words Okay, and there's the cabinets from the old ones. You know, again, how they have more depth to them and they're more traditional design. This is a, a photograph of the 17 series. I couldn't find something for the 22 RBE on the uh, Imagine XLS website. So what do you think? So what do you think of the changes? Feel free to uh, give me your friendly comments in, below the description. Again, this is the 2020 Grand Design Imagine XLS 22 RBE, the new interior. What do you think? Honestly, what do you think? I saw this video at Krobitz Lakeside Campers and Motors of Lake Crystal, Minnesota, and I downloaded the video. They had no audio track. They had no narration. They didn't even have any titles. I added it just so I can share it with you, and I would like to thank them for allowing me to do this. They are the nicest people in Minnesota. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I do travel, photography, and RV reviews once in a great while. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. From Fort Worth, Texas, Gracias, adios, bye-bye.